What is going on everybody and welcome on into the Stock Trends channel. So in today's video, we are talking about ticker symbol MRNA Moderna. So we made a video a couple days back talking about the potential dangers we have to watch as it got to that 500 level. We were potentially looking for a break over 500 and then a big pullback as a failed kind of breakout in a sense. After it's made a parabolic move, we didn't get that. We actually got a rejection towards that 500 and a pretty substantial pullback actually now over $100 in just two days. Take a look at the tip rank smart score scale. They're still giving it a 10 out of 10. That's based on how bullish it has been. If you look at analyst price targets, they just literally haven't been able to keep up. However, we're back down into kind of a better kind of wheelhouse in a sense if you dive back through some of these price targets are in the mid 400s and at the time we made that other video these obviously had already been surpassed now we're down back below these levels back below 400 at least when we're making this video and moderna is potentially setting up for its next move so not only are we going to talk about that potential next move we also want to talk about what is going on why it fell actually now yesterday when we're making this video so take a look at this some of this information this headline comes out yesterday eu looking into new possible side effects for the mrna covid19 shots and so you start talking about this pfizer moderna got a little bit of pullback on this type of news that came out yesterday so this comes out headlines hit and now you kind of go from overly bullish to potential fears not to mention, if we take a look at Moderna's chart, we also talked about in that last video we made, this stock got so much attention, it got so much volume, and it started to get attention on Wall Street bets. Now, of course, obviously hindsight's 2020, but when everyone gets bullish on this stock and it makes that parabolic move, that's when you want to be very cautious and make sure you understand and notice and be ready for the opposite direction. So it seemed very bullish and everyone started to go bullish on Moderna and it went crazy. And it had that kind of parabolic day right here where it was up on this day from 410, hitting highs up towards 490, it was up 20%, pretty crazy day. The next two days, it gave up all those gains and some, and now it's sat down here in the 385 area. And as we speak, it's sitting down here just shy of 390. So if we take a look at the chart, what is a key level to watch on Moderna right now? Well, if we take a look and we draw in some of these boxes, some lines, well, this area is something to watch, okay? So down towards this 370 or so and up towards 390, it seems like it's a very crucial level. So that's an area that if Moderna kind of just stalls out in the next couple of days, it wouldn't surprise us. But if we get a break below that 370, we could see some further downside down towards this 340, 350 level that we saw some significant consolidation a couple of days back. If you go back into this range, well, yeah, you were ranging from 360 down towards about 320. So that's an area to watch as well if we do fall below this 370 on Moderna. Now, another thing to note, and we start broadening things out here, we get rid of this box and we get rid of this box. Of course, I'd highly recommend you do this on your own chart so you guys can start seeing your own levels, understanding technical analysis, getting a sense for support areas, resistance zones, things like that. But now you zoom things out, getting back the upside, there also is an area of consolidation up in here from about 425 down to about 400. So Moderna back up over 400 is going to have to grind through this level to get back for a bigger move to the upside. Now, of course, that could certainly happen. And of course, we're watching for that, but we do need to be paying attention to what happens next. If Moderna decides to dump, this will probably fall back down to that 350 or potentially even further and start to slow down. If Moderna wants to bounce from here in the next couple of days and it bounces and it gets right back up, this could be setting up for that 500 plus move into next week. So we have to be paying attention to that. Also, if we do have you know this next area this is a gap on the chart it would be crazy but that puts us down to 265 i know it sounds ridiculous but that is the gap on the chart many times these gaps get filled and it's something to be paying attention to if we do see further downside now in the video from two days ago we talked about moderna and people saying yeah there's no way it's going to make a move of 50 60 70 dollars well what do we just see the stock went in one day from 444 down to 385 take a look at that move in just one day Literally a one-day move, it was 60 bucks. If you go back to a two-day move, that was over $100 in two days. When you have a stock that has made the move it has made, you have to expect this volatility. And the second we have some fear, profit-taking, panic selling, you bet you're going to see some wild swings up and down. Now, the question is, can bulls get back into control and the shorts get squeezed here? The shorts may have been getting comfortable. However, shorts did make a lot of money in the past two days if they timed it right. Of course, everyone, you know, no one's going to time it perfectly. But if you did time it right, for those who were shorting with big money potentially or bigger players at, at play here, 
they did make a lot of money. And so they're not as much, in a sense, screwed, right? If it keeps going up and it never gets that pullback, the shorts are screwed because they don't have an opportunity to lighten their position, deleverage, right? But now shorts potentially had an opportunity as of yesterday. If they played options, if they played puts, shares, whatever it was, however they were betting on the downside, they were able to scoop a good chunk of that move. And so now they potentially are ready to reposition. And if we do get further pops to the upside, they can reposition. And now we have a battle that they are kind of in control uh, rather than the bulls being in control. If we don't get any pullbacks and it keeps holding, 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 it dips a little bit and it holds up without a substantial pullback like we saw the past two days, pretty much a hundred bucks, right? Well, more than a hundred bucks. Well, then the shorts continue to get squeezed. So it looks like right now, I think the massive squeezes to the upside may be over, at least in the short term for Moderna. We might be seeing this stock kind of peter out and just stall out, maybe kind of making it slow grind up or down or just consolidate for the next couple of days and weeks. And that's one thing to watch as well. So there you guys have it. Let us know in the comment section and down below your thoughts on Moderna. Now we're not saying this stock is going down to zero. We're not saying this stock is going to a thousand right now. We are talking about what is happening right now, what needs to happen for bulls to get into control, what needs to happen for bears to stay in control. And it looks like as of right now, the bears are in control based on the movement the past two days. And now the question will be, if Moderna pops back up 400 or back up into the low 400s, does it sustain, does it grind, or does it fall right back off and do the bears take back control and really show that they now have control here, at least in the short term. Appreciate all of you guys who are tuning in. The links will be down below for this platform, which is Weeble, allows you to trade from 4 a.m. all the way to 8 p.m. So look at this. You can take advantage of price action that we saw this morning, hitting up 394, dipping down 386. You can take advantage of that price action if you have a broker that allows you to trade during those hours. Links will be down below for Weeble, as well as TipRank, which is this platform right here. And not to mention our other two channels. If you like the content here, good chance. If you like us on our other two channels, links to those channels will be in the description box down below. Thanks so much, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.